maayong aga kaga happy new year sa liwat ang uh, una ko gid nga pamangkot asta san o kita mag greet sang happy new year is it after a week of the new year or until december 31 of the new year kay new year pa siya no uh, muna ang problema sa new government center kay pag uh, construct sa iya bago new government center so saan umadula ang new sa new government center something's wrong with the word new or maybe the usage of the word new because something does in that that is new soon becomes old oh ay ay kakabalo no gusto mo man uh, hakson ang new year pero pagbugtaw mo balik ka na sa obra the new year pagani okay, new mo no so hindi ka kabalo no ang new nag nag pass away na sa gihapon so sininga aga that is going to be the theme and that is what we are taught in Psalm 90 let us pray lord salamat kay ikaw ang nagadala sa new and in fact in revelation you're telling us you're making all things new Kabay pa Lord, as we meditate on Psalm 90, we will see that our God is eternal. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So, buksan talang aton yung Bible sa Psalm 90 para makita tagid ang mga verses. Kaga sa Sininga Aga, uh, Psalm 90 simply tells us that God is eternal. While we, kita, while we are mortals in need of His mercy. That is what Psalm 90 is all about. Ang Dios eternal. God is eternal. While we are mortals in need of His mercy. Ang Dios lang git ang eternal. Kitaya mortal. Bisa nanu pa ni muna ka desire no nga kuya immortal no. Mortal, you are mortal. We will see that in the passage. And then kita because we are mortals, we are in need of God's mercy. Una git, no from verses 1 to 2. Kag kun nakita ninyo kagina no, this psalm is a song, a prayer of Moses. Uh, usually, mag-sams gani, anong gasulod sa mind naton? Si King David. Kay damo gidman sa kanta, song book no, of God's people, ang book of Psalms, damo gidman niya si David. Si David kadamo, asya gid ang may kadamaan nga ginsulat nga kanta. But this song, this prayer, this psalm is that of Moses not of David. So, ang aton nga background sini is the life of Moses. And most likely, this psalm was written about the time when Deuteronomy was also written or about that time when Deuteronomy was happening. So, ang ina siya nga book, ara na sila, manug, tabuk na sila to the promised land. They are on the edge of the promised land. That's why in the book of Deuteronomy, si Moses nagsulat man sang kanta para madumduman nila ang covenant sang ginoo. So, amuna siya ang background sang sininga Sam. So, that may inchindihan nato ang mga bagay nga ginsulat din ni Moses. Verses 1 and 2 shows, show us that God indeed is eternal. Tatlo lang, ah, apat lang kabagay, i-share ko sa inyo, no? God is eternal. Amunang una-una, git. God is eternal. Number 2, we are mortals. Arap man sa passage, no? And number three, we are mortals in need of God's mercy. Uh, we are mortals under God's wrath. And then number four, we are mortals in need of God's mercy. God is eternal. Tanong na bala, no? Verses one and two. Ano siling ni Moses? Dari? Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world from everlasting to everlasting you are god 
Mga kauturan, ang Diyos lang ang amo sini. Siling ni Moses, no? Tanawon nyo, no? While Moses as was writing this, or when God's people were singing this, especially ang first ginyang mga nagkanta, sini, imagine nun ninyo, no? Sang ginsulat sini, sini ni Moses, no? Lord, you have been our dwelling place. Kaya kung balikan na ng istorya ni Moses, ano ay han ang huna-huna ni Moses while he was writing this? Lord, you have been our dwelling place. Ginkuha sila sa Egypt, nagpanglakaton sila sa disyerto, and the Lord was with them through that tabernacle. So, kung imagine mo no, samtang nga isulat ko ni no, kay kantahon ta ni no, and then nagasiling sila, Lord, you have been our dwelling place. So, gina, siguro ginahandu raw nila no, ang ilang uh, memory about the tabernacle. Kagkundiin ang shikaina glory sang ginuo magalakat kag didto magapundo didto sila didto nila i-pitch ang tent or ang tabernacle kag amuni siya ang gapamatuod nga upod namon ang ginuo gin protektahan kami sang ginuo tungod sang cloud kag tungod sang pillar of fire kun gabi nagahatag sang kasanag kun aga nagahatag sang kabugnaw kag shade amo na ang amon nga Dios so imagine oh, Moses writing this and wanting the people of God to sing this and what are they supposed to sing they're going to sing that the Lord has been their dwelling place from generation to generation kun i kun ginaano kuno gina remember ko ang Exodus this there is a generation nga naghalin sa Egypt There's a generation naglakad sila sa wilderness, na witness nila mga milagro sang Ginoo pero naglibot sila sa disyerto, damo sila ang nagkalamatay kag may ara naman nga generation nga manugsulod sa promised land nga hindi sila yan naghalin sa Egypt. Kay nabata sila sa wilderness. And so when Moses was writing this and wanting God's people to sing, I want you to remember that sa aton nga pagpanglugayawon sa sining nga kalibutan. The Lord has been my dwelling place. Mga kauturan, bisan may balay ka pa subungan nami, no? I hope that you can see deep, say deep in your heart, The Lord has been my dwelling place. Ah, comfortable ko ya kay kinabi sa balay, no? Amo ni katawahay sa amo, no? Pero kabay pa, no? Nga makasiling kita. We may not be comfortable. Comfortable at home, or maybe comfortable at home, but kabay pa makasiling kita. The Lord has been my dwelling place from generation to generation. Ang Dios ang amo naging puluyan. Pagano siling yun dili? Before the mountains were brought forth, before you even have made the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Grabe nga claim, no? God alone is eternal. That's why ang comfort ni Moses that the Lord has been our dwelling place from generation to generation. Bangud ang mga bagay, ang mga generations na galigad. Only God doesn't. Ang Diyos wala nagadaan. Kita lang nag-celebrate sa New Year, no? Pero sa ginoo, all at once, Eternal, from everlasting to everlasting. Hindi ko na pa ego sa ako nuna huna, no? From everlasting to everlasting, you are our God. Amo ng aton ng Dios. Kaganami sa ambal ni Moses, no? You have been our dwelling place. Now let's look at the contrast. Let's look at the contrast. Look at the text. Unagit God is eternal. Makatuk kita sa aton ka ugalingon. Kita ya, hindi kita eternal. Verse 3, You return man to dust and say, Return, O children of men. For a thousand years in your sight are but as yesterday when it is past, or as a watch in the night. You sweep them away as with a flood. They are like a dream, like grass renewed in the morning. In the morning it flourishes and renewed. In the evening it fades and withers. 
A thousand years is just like yesterday. Mga kauturan, this is not a math book. This is a song. Figure of speech na siya. So, hindi tapag i-calculate niya kada adla, kada isa kataw, katuig, uh, 1,000 years, isa na siya kaadlaw. Hindi amo na ang point. Ang iya nga point is itanawuni mo, no? As if ang 1,000 years, not literally a 1,000 years, but it is just like yesterday. Nakita niyo ang nakita niyo ang points ng figure of speech palariha so tanungan niyo bla a thousand years in your sight but just yesterday the watch in the night or just like an hour in the night just like a dream just like the grass nakita niyo ang comparison a thousand years pero kita ya no return to dust return o oh man to dust Ikaw ya. You look at the contrast here and you will know your role in history. Tanawan nyo ang contrast, no? God, wala ginsuguran, wala sang katapusan, ikaw ya. Daw parihas ka lang sang hilamon. Daw parihas ka lang sang damgo. Daw parihas ka lang, no? Daw amu ka lang na, no? Pagbugta mo, wala na. Daw parihas ka lang sang uras nga nagligad. Daw parihas ka lang sang kagapon. Ano ang contrast dere ginapakita sa ato no? That God for God no? As if a thousand years is just a day. Kitaya, we are mortals. We are not just mortals, but we are mortals nga gintagaan sang shadow ka. Gamay nga tiyon. Gamay ng tiyon na ginatag sa atun. Nagapabugal pa ta, no? So when you, when you put yourself in the uh, context of God being everlasting, tapos ikaw amuka na kagamay in terms of the unit of time, kisa doon nagapabugal pa ta, nga grabe, gidya ang ma-accomplish na kon. Not only does Moses say we are mortals? Number three, we are mortals under God's wrath. Look at verses 7 to 12. 7 to 11. 7 to 11. For we are brought to an end by your anger. By your wrath, we are dismayed. You have set our iniquities before you our secret sins in the light of your presence. For all our days pass under your wrath. We bring our years to an end like a sigh. Na ba to? We we end we bring our years to an end like a sigh. The years of our life are 70. Kun may pulupwersa ka pa, maybe 80. Yet their span is but toil and trouble. They are gone and we fly away. Who considers the power of your anger and your wrath according to the fear of you? Nanda ko na gitang problema ta. First, contrast mong self mo no? God is everlasting. No beginning, no end. Ikaw ya? Mortal. Hindi lang ka mortal. Gamay ga, may ang imong time. Hindi lang gamay ga, may ang imong time under ka pa sa wrath. Kalipot na sa imong time, but you end your years with a sigh. Ano kuno na? Kanami sa yai translate no. You end your years with Hay, amo na ning kabuhi. Amo nang imong ending. No? Ang ending sa imong kabuhi pang hay hay. Excited naman ko tani, mag-retire, no? No, pag-retire mo, hindi ka na may plakat. Nakita niyong idea? The idea is ang gamay ko, no? Sige lang mga, uh, sige, sige, kikubra, no? Kaya para paglambot ko sa amuning nga time, ma-enjoy ko ng life ko. Paglambot mo na sa amuning nga time, ay, amo ng imo, nakita, amo ng imo, nasugata, amo ng imo, batsyagun, kaya hindi ka nagali. Ara na lang sa huna-huna ni mo ang imo nga, Days nga pa matanon ka pa. Nga do abi mo do kasagad pa si mo do kaya mo pa maglagan. Subong halin sa panglabay hindi ka nakatindog. Gala gala ino. 
You are now, the Moses is bringing us to the issue. God is eternal. We are mortal, and not only are we mortal, we are mortals under God's wrath. Seventy years, if you have the strength, maybe eighty years. But this seventy and eighty years are also filled with toil and trouble. So, sa inyo na ring a feeling bata pa, magkutun yun di karon ang medyo may idad na. Tuod na siya. Dira magkupakad to. Kanami, sina ano, kung may fellowship, kita nga amo sina, no? Ang mga bata, mamangkot sa mga may idad. Manay, kamusta ka na? Tuod na siya. Amo na siya. No? Kaya mag-gain ka mo sang wisdom. Dari natun makit, ano? Tanawo nyo bila sa backdrop sang, sang natabo sa kay Moses. We are mortals under God's wrath. Si Moses nakita yan eh. Nakita gid ni Moses even pagtabok nila no from the Red Sea and then nagreklamo sila nakita gid ni Moses no. Asta nga gin nagworship sila sang golden calf. Asta nga damo sa ila nagkalamatay by the wrath of God. Lipot ng aton nga kabuhi it is under God's wrath pa. So nakita nila no nakatabok man sila sa Egypt why sila nakalambot sa promised land napatay sila Ang nabilin nga wala napatay dito sa pagworship sa Golden Calf napatay man sila sa disyerto Ang promise nga makalambot sila sa, sa promised land why sila nakalambot sa promised land lipot na ang kabuhi under God's wrath pa Ano ang aton nga paglaom sina And so si Moses while giving the song or maybe the first People who sang this song, makit ana to no. Only God is immortal. Only God is eternal. But we are mortals, and we are mortals under God's wrath. That's why kanami sang ending sa sininga kanta. If we are mortals and we are mortals under God's wrath, what is our hope? Kung ang kanta nagendera, why na? Magkauturan ang Dios wala sang ginhalinan, wala sang katapusan. Ikaw, lipot ang imo kabuhi. Ang imo kabuhi, hindi lang lipot, pero under sa kasingkal sang ginoo. Let us pray. Hindi na muna mapuli ka, no? Amo nang unod sa imo nga heart. Grabe, no? And which is true. That's why Moses prays, Lord, malukoy ka sa amo. Ga-pray kita sa amo sina. Tanawang iya nga prayer. Verse 12. This is about ano ang iyang uh, ano dito no? If this is who God is, this is who I am, who we are, and then under His wrath, what is our hope? Silingya, teach us to number our days that we may get a heart of wisdom. Oh, that's a beautiful verse. Sino dili sa inyong uh, sa sulod sang balay hindi pwede makaistorya parte ka matayon? ay nahadlo kita. Pero sa tuod lang git, kung hindi mo na pag you're not wise. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Where? Where can we get that? Oh, let me give you an example. Subong lang git, no? Para doon ma-enjoy ka, maminsa. Paano, abi, kung may unlimited ka nga kwarta? Oy, hindi ni tuod, ha? Gina pa, pulo pa minsa, ta lang. Nagalain ang heart mo, no? Wow! Unlimited nga kwarta. Una, gid. Amo ni muon ko, amo ni muon ko, amo ni... Galing kayo, samtang ginaspend mo na na. Tapos nagasulod sa mind mo, no? Unlimited ni? Pamangkot. Do you think you will be wise person nga nagaspend sa kwarta? I don't think you will be wise. You will not be wise. Unlimited? Hindi na kinangla nun. Ay, nabuka. Ay, hindi na tayo magtigang. Mapakater na lang tayo. Unlimited. May gapang hugas pa. May gapang himos pa. Kaya unlimited ang ako niya kwarta. Abakal ko bayo. Hindi na tayo magpalaba. Mabakal na bago. Unlimited. Imagine, wala na lilabahan. Wala na. Ay, hindi, hindi mayong andar na salakyan. Mabakal na bago nga salakyan. Unlimited ang kwarta. Hala, na ba tiyagaan nyo na? Kasadya, no? Kanami, no? Kanami, no? Ang pamangkot, will we be wise people if there is so unlimited resources? You won't be. 
o oh, ibutang naton hindi na siya tuod no kaya ka, ang ibansin niyo si gigya pundam goda no hindi na na stop it no tama na no? hindi na sa matabo sa mga games na bala mga games games mga game dere no may araman na unlimited life imagine ko naga game ka ako gampang ko gyapon pacman kung like mo ka balo just google pacman no may life na siya no tatlo ang iyang life pero kung makakuha ka na sa mga do baskog na nagadamo imo life what if kun unlimited imo life nga kun mapatay ka wala lelo ay na siya nga game ki unlimited imo life oh sige lang gusto ko ta mapatay ka mabalik naman na gyapon no unlimited ang imo nga life pero kun duwa lang imo nga lives naga op hindi ka da magagi kay isa na lang imo life ay kay wala na ka life ah now we begin to see that when moses was saying Teach us to number our days. The numbering of our days makes us wise people on how to live our lives. In fact, kung maayara ka mo dira ang mga sardinas sa balay nga naga-expire na or makita nyo ng expiry date, buwas na. Anong ginahimo ninyo? Ginahulat ninyo nga mag-expire kay kaunon? Hindi. Ay, dali-dali yung dali, kay ma-expire na. Nagalain ang imo nga desisyon kay kabalu ikaw sa expiry date. Why talang ginabaton, mga kauturan, pero tanan kita may expiry date. Wala lang nasulat sa imo lawas. Pero, nami, guro ko nasulat sa lawas, no? Ah, 2024 pa, kuya? Ikaw, ya? 2018? Oh, ari ka pa di? Expired ka na. No, hindi ka na mapuslan. Dapat wala ka na di. When I know that my life is limited, I know where to put all my strength. And the reason why ang aton kabuhi kung kisano, wala sang pagusto lang ko kay akon man niya kabuhi. Why kita kabaluno that this is just the limited life I have? Noon naman yung Pastor Jerry, nagligan, no? The more you celebrate your birthdays, the closer you are to the end. So sa piyak ng bahay nagakalipay ka kay nagaselebrate ka sang imo ng birthday, pero sa piyak ng bahay nagakulbaan ka man kay galapit ka na lang. Tani hindi lang ako mag-birthday sini nga tuig ba? Duway ka hindi ka man nang sao maghambal nga amo sina no? The point is if God so numbered our days, what should I do with my present life? Have you asked that question? Anong kuni ang kabuhi ko? Will I just be spending my life on these things if I know that my life will expire soon? It's going to make you wise. That's why, you know, this 2023, think about what you're going to use your life with. Moses understands that only God is eternal. Only God. I am mortal and I am not only mortal, I am mortal under God's wrath. So siling ni Moses, be merciful to me. Teach me to number my days that I may gain wisdom. Actually, amun ni siyang iyang application sa Psalm 90. Tatlo ni sila, no? So this is crying out for mercy. Look at the second part. 13 14, 15. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants, longing for God's mercy. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad for as many days as you have afflicted us, for as many years as we have seen evil. Ano ang gina-desire ni Moses? Lord, mangin maluloy on ka sa amon. And, now look at this phrase, Satisfy us with your steadfast love in the morning that we may be glad and rejoice. Mga kauturan, ano ang nagapalipay sa imo? Ang muning kakatabo sa ato, no? Kahit daw wala na gid ko na lipay, nag-swing kita from one side to another, pero wala sang depth. Ang muning kakatabo, no? Sako sa ako na gid. So, why nag ko kakalipay? Anong obrahon na ton? Arin nyo ay. Mabreak ko? Mga lipay na lang ikong mga lipay, ah. 
hindi na ako maminsar sa ngakon nga naglatabo to kay nga abwas mabalik naman ko sa obra tapos kay nakapoy naman ko maano naman ko ang paggusto naman ko no to pilak adlaw nagabinge ka no nagakalunod ka so duwa lang ang imo nga ginaswingan si Moses hindi amo nang desire niya Ang desire ni Moses is Satisfy me with your steadfast love Ano ang matuod-tuod Nga maghahatag sa kalipay Sa akon nga kabuhi It is not when I swing from one side to the other It is when I understand so deeply That I am loved by God in Christ Kung hindi na siya magdalom Your life will just be swinging From the right to the left trying to fill out the gap by parties so that you will feel good about it. Kay hindi ka gusto magatubang, hindi ka gusto magatubang sini. ni. So ang mula ni nga ito natubangon. Kundi nalipatan na ito. Pagkalipat ni mo, nagadalom kung madumduman mo na, may problema ako galit. No? So para malunod naman ang problema, balikid naman ko sa pihak. Para madula ang problema. Mga kauturan, The hope is when Moses says, Satisfy me in the morning with your steadfast love that we may be glad all our days. Pamangkot, was Moses glad all his days? When you go through Exodus again, you will find out that Moses himself struggled. Lord, ako ni nagbata sa ilang. Ako ni ngayon mo ang tatay ni sa ilang. Ika mga tiga ni sa ilang ulo ni. Paano ko ni sila pakanoon? Moses struggled. Nga, yun naman sila tubig. Saan nagligan? Doon kitagaan man sila tubig. Tapos reklamo naman sila. Ano kijabi? Ano kijabi yung role ko di? Grabe, no? But what kept Moses? In fact, sa pagkamatuod, when Moses died, he just saw the promised land, did not even step on it. Grabe naman kamu. Dalunta ka mo di, tapos paglambot, bilhin nyo ko sa entrance, kamutanan mas sinulod. Ako nagbayad sa inyong entrance. Ako nagdala uh, baluto sa inyong pagkaon. Ako naging mo, kala, ayun siguro, no? Muna nyo ng pastor nyo, no? Mga oh, madala ta, mga pasipalay ta, ako tanong nabayad sa inyo. Ah, everybody happy, paglambot sa entrance, bilhin nyo sa pastor sa gua. Ah, mga lipay. How would Moses feel? Grabe, no? But was Moses satisfied? He was so satisfied because he understood the steadfast love of God. That is what made him glad. Kanam, isang Psalm 19, no? Unagid siling yan, no? This mercy, Lord, you are eternal. I am mortal. I am mortal under your wrath. Please be merciful to me. And three things in pangayo, you know? Teach me to number my days that I may gain wisdom. Ikadua, satisfy me in the morning with your steadfast love. Kag ikatatlo, ano hambal niya? Kanabi siya prayer, no? Beautiful song. Let your work be shown to your servants and your glorious power to their children. Let the favor of the Lord your, our God be upon us. And establish the work of our hands upon us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Two things. So, silinga last two verses, no? Silinga dera. Let your work be shown to your servants. Anong desire ni Moses? Silinga kagina, no? Teach me to number my days, so I will gain wisdom. Ikaduwa nga ginambal niya, no? Nga satisfy me in the morning with your steadfast love. Kag ikatatlo ano silinga? Lord, I want to see your work. I want to see your work. Not just your work, but your glorious power, not just to me, but to my children. Para magapadayo. No? I want to see your work. I will ask each one of you later. Do I desire to see the work of God? Tanawa ang prayer ya sa last verse. Yes! Establish the work of my hand. Yes, establish. May I find favor as you establish the work of my hands. Yes, establish the work of my hands. Mga kauturan, do not 
remove that text and just put it as the work of your hands. Because the work of your hands there is connected to the work of God. That ang desire ni Moses nga makita nyo that God is working not only sa iya, kundi sa iya nga mga kabataan, kag kabay pa ang iya nga gina work is aligned to the work of God. That's why he wants his work to be established. It's not just his work nga, Lord, amun yung gusto ko, I want to do this, so give me success on this work. That's not just the prayer of Moses. His prayer is that, Lord, I want to see your work. And so his prayer about his work is connected to the work of God. So that gusto ni Moses nga ang iyang work is aligned to the work of God. This is a beautiful psalm. God is eternal. Only God is eternal. We are mortals. We are not just mortals. We are mortals under God's wrath. And we desire mercy. Lord, maluoy ka sa amon. Kanami is a prayer, no? Because this prayer was fulfilled by Jesus. That is what makes this psalm beautiful. The eternal God steps into time and take upon Himself the judgment that is due you so that you who are mortal can live with God forever. Oh, that is amazing. Psalm 90, Psalm 90 brings us the idea nga bisan pa God is eternal. He did not remain eternally far from us, but in time He came in the person of Jesus. And not just did He come in the person of Jesus, He placed Himself under God's wrath even though He lived a perfect life. So that ikaw nga mortal, nga under God's wrath, when you put your faith in the God who has become like one of us in time, you will live with God forever. Grabe nga grasya, no? Hindi lang kuya galit, Lord, mapatay lang. Yes! Mapatay ka pero maupod ka kabuhi because the eternal God became a human in time and took upon himself God's wrath so that you who are mortal will live with him forever. The fulfillment of Psalm 90 in the person of Jesus. So mamang, mamang kot ko sa inyo no? before I close. I think it's easy to follow Psalm 90. God is eternal while we are mortals in need of God's mercy. Makita mo git sa passage, no? Eternal ang ginoo. Mortal kita. Mortal under God's wrath in need of God's mercy. But we also see how this is fulfilled in Christ. So ang pamangkot sa aton sininga aga, no? What will you do with the short time that you have here on earth. New year na, no? Pagka new year na, pamangkot sa imo. Ay! Yay! Amo ito kagina, no? Gakalipay kito, no? New year na! Yay! Nagalipot na akong life. Uh, that's the other way of saying it. Do wala, kita guruga mo na, no? Nga, nag-celebrate sa new year, no? Yes! New year naman! Praise God, nakalambot ko sa new year. Praise God, nagalipot na ginag akong kabuhi. Do wala, sa may nag-amo na, no? But actually, it's a... It's a heart of wisdom. You gain a heart of wisdom when you understand that life is getting shorter. Your life is getting shorter. So, ang ko sa imo is, anong himuon mo with that shorter life that you have now? Take time to reflect. Take time to reflect. Ikaduwa nga pamangkot. Siling ni Moses, kagina sa iyang pangamuyo, no? Satisfy me with your steadfast love in the morning. Satisfy me with your steadfast love. Ang ininga steadfast love bala, ang cord ni siya and perfected by what Jesus did on the cross. So ang pamangkot ko sa inyo, sininga aga is, you can only know and experience the depth of God's love with you in Christ when you engage in a community that talks about the love of Jesus. 
if you engage, if you do not engage in a community that talks about the love of Jesus, you will never, in the, never siguro, no? you will not experience that satisfaction in the steadfast love of God. That's why we invite kamu. Uh, uh, we will have a meeting later and we will again send more invitations. The purpose of our invitations for you to come to church is so that with Moses you can say, satisfy me with your steadfast love in the morning. Sa tuod lang git, damo-damo sa mga bagay nga abi na to nag-satisfy sa aton sa kalibutan. Right? Damo-damo git. Kung magabot ang, ang package alin sa Shopee, nagka-excite ka, right? Lapit na lang. Ay, na-delay. Lapit na lang. Until pag-open mo, ay, amula manigali. Amo na sa aton experience, no? And so, kaya amulang manigali, you have to do it again. And again, and again, and again. Grabe ang big difference, no? Ay, lapit na lang gali. And then as your excitement grows, the king is coming back. And when he comes, hindi ka magsiling, ay, mula matagali, Lord. You will see everything is made new. And you will be satisfied forever with that steadfast love. Kabay pa, no? We will desire to know and experience this steadfast love of God this year. Ikatatlo. And finally, siling yan, no? Let your work be shown to your servants and your glorious power to their children. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us. Establish the work of our hands upon us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Ang pamangkot natin is, do you align your work so that it is the work that God does to His people? Now, why kung nagsiling nga pastor kita tanan, no? Ang akon bala work, when I say, Lord bless my work, is this aligned? To God's work of showing Himself to His people. Kabay pa align ang imo nga work into showing. Gusto ko Lord, i-i-i-bless mo ni Kai. Ang ginapaminsar mo nga initial will be a testimony of God's work to His people. That is the prayer of Moses. So I consider na to, no? We want to grow wise. Lord, our days are becoming shorter. It's becoming more troublesome. Give me the wisdom to decide wisely for you. Ikadwa, satisfy me in the morning with your steadfast love. Lord, this year I want to know more about the love of Jesus. And finally, I want to work so that my work is aligned to your work in showing your power to your people. I pray that this will be your direction in this year. Let us pray. Ginoo, salamat sa pag-remind ni Mos Amon. Ikaw lang, Lord, ang eternal. Ikaw lang git. We can never be eternal. Never. We are mortals. Under your wrath. And we need your mercy. Pero salamat, Lord. Kaya nga nga kaluoy, ay nga nga steadfast love na experience naman when Jesus, who is eternal, came to earth in time so that kami, nga mga mortals who put our faith in Jesus, the only Savior, will live with you forever. Lord, tagaay kami sang wisdom as we decide on things this year. Kabay pa, Lord, that when we know that our time is short, hindi kami makulbaan, kundi makita namun ang mga opportunities nga mag-serve pagid sa imo. Kabay pa, Lord, nga masatisfy kami sa imo nga steadfast love in the morning that ang nag fuel sa amon sa adlaw-adlaw nga tanan is that love that won't let us go, that love in Christ. Kabay pa, Lord, when we ask you to bless the work of our hands, ini nga work, Lord, na align sa imo nga work, sa imo nga katawahan and not just for ourselves. Salamat, Lord. Sang Psalm 90, we may not know the tune of this song, but we want to sing this song from our hearts. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.